What's up guys, it's Yuna. Welcome back uh, to... <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Pokemon Showdown Live, episode number 92. Uh, we're here in the finals of the Room Tour vs. Cactroon. Um, looking to be a pretty cool match. Uh, I'm just going to go and lead with uh, Crobat right here. Um, so... Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, because if he leads Empoleon, it's not actually that big of an issue. I can just click U-turn right here, pick up some free momentum. Um, if he does want to get his rocks up, so be it, uh, because he does actually give me a free switch right here into uh, Chasing Gangsters. <laughs> and I can just click Volt Switch. Uh, it's not actually that big of an issue. So he goes for the Roar, turn one. Uh, as I get Roared out into Malibu, which, you know, would be a problem, except for the fact I can just go straight back into Rotom. So, um, not actually that big of a problem. I eat that Scald, and I can just go for the T-Bolt right here. I think I would, actually, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch pick up some momentum I don't think he'll want to stay in right here this is not a good matchup for him uh, and if he goes into Florges then Entei gets a free switch and you know that's kind of the cool thing about having a slower volt switch uh, like s slower volt switch and U-turn is that you know you threaten a lot of things so I'd imagine he's just gonna get his rocks up right here so I'm going to go out into uh, my boy Heracross and Heracross can then fire off the close combat should be relatively easy um, as, yeah, he does get up his rocks, so, he has the option here to switch out or, uh, have something take a close combat, um, I could go for the knockoff, which is kind of tempting, actually, kind of tempting, because it, like, he'll lose, actually, no, I'm just clicking close combat, I really feel like he's gonna fodder this thing right here, um, because he doesn't really need it for the rest of the battle, it doesn't switch into much, um, because I've already revealed specs, the only thing that, like, oh, it's disappointing, that did no damage, but I'm just going to go straight out into uh, Malibu right here, um, he's lefties, um, I don't feel like hair is that weak, it's weak, but it's not that weak, uh, I'm going to go to Rhyperior, and hopefully not get dunked by a Surf, um, then Ice Punch him into the next century as he goes for the detail. So he is defensive mints, good to know. As I get roared out into my own mints. Fancy that. Um, is mints my win condition? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Ain't that something. So he won't stay in right here, I don't think. Because um, that would be relatively bad play on his part. Question mark. Um, so what's he gonna go out into? That's the question. He could either go out into Florges, or uh, he could go out into something like Napoleon. Um, I'm gonna go into Rotomo either way, because I feel like Rotomo is a pretty safe switch, because um, it lets me Volt Switch as he ends up switching out into his Florges. Great for me. Um, I could trick right here if I really wanted to. Um, okay, what are the pros and cons of tricking right here? Um, I'm a lot weaker versus Mints, because I feel like this is going to be my way to beat Mints, to be completely honest. Um, unless, like, he leaves it in on Rhyperior, thinking he can just, like, eat up any hit. Um, if I trick right here and he goes into Empoleon, that's bad. Because then I'd, like, dump my Scarf for nothing. Dump my Specs for nothing. I feel like he's going to stay in, though, because he can take any hit. So I'm just going to go straight away for the trick. Hopefully he doesn't protect. Um, but we'll cross that bridge if we get to it. He does go into Empoleon. That's disappointing. Um, so I trick him my specs. I get lefties. And I can just fire off a T-Bolt right here. Um, which, you know, not a great situation for me. Um, but if I get rid of his water type, then I guess Rotomo really had no use. Um, I could T-Bolt it right there if I really wanted to just to scout damage output. But that's gonna, that's gonna go ahead and knock him out anyway. So, um, that's good. I take the early 6-5 lead. Um, but I really got to get rocks off the field, and it's actually really helpful that uh, his rocker is gone. Um, I'm assuming that's his rocker and his defogger, so I have won the hazard war, which is super nice. Um, if he goes into Reuniclus, if he goes into Arrow, um, is this just death fodder at this point? Yeah, maybe. Uh, actually, I kind of want this, though. So not even gonna lie. Actually, does this even kill? I'm gonna go ahead and calc this real quick. Uh, if he has to go for, actually, 
Isn't Rhyperior just my safest play? Yeah, Rhyperior is my safest play. Um, because then I can scout for the Aqua Tails. He goes straight into Forges, which, you know, not bad for me. Um, people are already saying he's lost in the chat. Don't, like, don't rule him out. Like, this dude can win. Um, and I can just go straight into Crobat here, click Defog. Um, he hasn't mega with Arrow yet. Um, so I guess I could sack this if he doubles right here, as he just goes straight away for the Wish. Um... I don't mind clicking defog. <laughs> I just want to win this hazard war if I'm being completely honest. Because um, once I get hazards off the field, it's like Dragon Tail doesn't really hurt me as much. Um, I get infinite pivots pretty much uh, with Mensa and Ante. And uh, also really helps uh, Rotom and Crow. Well, of course, it helps Crobat. And uh, Crobat is actually going to be really useful this battle. So he just ends up going for the protect. I feel like that was a pretty subpar play, not even going to lie. Actually, no, because that blocks me getting rocks. Forgot about that. Um, but now he's wasted his wish. I felt like the play there was to go straight to arrow, which he does this turn. That hits 394, that is going to be faster than me, which is bad. Um, <laughs> he can go for the stone edge though, pretty carefree. So I'm going to go to my own rip ear ear, and uh, hopefully get some rocks up. That's the goal. Because if I get rocks up, then actually he's defog vents. Rip. Forgot about that. Uh, so he goes for the EQ, that did no damage though. So he's... EQ, dual stabs, roost, maybe. I'm gonna get my rocks up. I feel like he's not gonna stay in. He doesn't wanna take a stone edge. He doesn't wanna take a stone edge. I may have just talked myself into a very bad play. <laughs> um, Cause if he does stay in and uh, he EQs me, then that's pretty bad. Um, but, ow, that hurt. Um, like, he could Stone Edge right here pretty easily. Aerial Ace won't kill me, though. Um, so I could go into Rotomo if I really wanted to. It's, like, risky, for sure. But it's, like, it, it, I, it wouldn't be the most insane play I've made all day. Actually, what do I have to kill this? Rip. <laughs> when, you have, when you realize you have nothing to beat this at all. Um... Right here, I think I'm just going to go ahead and sack this, probably. I'm going to go for the Stone Edge, just in case he goes for the Aerial Ace, over Predicts, or switches out right here. Um, if he goes out in Immense, he goes for the Stone Edge. Look at that. And I hit two, so that is a dead arrow. Um, I guess it was the good play to just stay in right there and sack that. So, um, Malibu picking up the kill and getting rocks up. If he goes out in Immense, I'm clicking Ice Punch. Um, you can still win. I've choked away bigger leads than this. Okay, don't feel like I want to give this Moxie at all. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm actually just going to go into Crow at it. It's my safest play. Uh, you never know when this sack could be useful late game. Um, so I'm just going to keep it around. And it also Ice Punches Mints for free if he's like Roost or whatever. If he's Stone Edge, thank God he didn't. That is Banded. Oh my God. Uh, I'm just going to click Roost right here because, you know, I can get back up to a good amount of health, and that is clearly banded by the damage output. Um, and then I can just pretty much U-turn on whatever. Is he not choice? No, he's choice. That's still doing a lot. <laughs> uh, obligatory joke right there. He goes into Reunipus right here, which is actually mildly uh, threatening, but I can just U-turn on it and uh, just nuke it with a banded flare blitz probably because there ain't no way I'm missing sacred fire right here not today um so he ends up going straight away for the side shock um so is doubling my best play is he gonna stay in right here I'm gonna sacred fire uh just because like minimizing the damage he could potentially get out of mints is nice if I do end up hitting this is gonna do no damage though um that is a burn sick um, I feel like that kind of forces him to defog right here, uh, or to roost. Um, what is Brennan trying to tell me in the chat, though? How much is it? Brennan, aka Shofu, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go into right here. He ends up going for the roost, which is A-OK. -okay. I can go straight away for the ice punch right here. Doesn't really matter if he defogs, because um, like, m most of the things that have... Uh, like, th this has Magic Guard, so it's obviously, like, not affected by hazards. That will only take 6%. No, it takes 12, but it's, like, not really necessary for me to wear down that much, because I still do have Bat uh, just chilling. 
uh, that has lefties and stuff. So, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Never mind, that didn't even kill. What? <laughs> I'm just going to get up my rocks right here, because if he details, then I get rocks for free, as he ends up going for the toxic, which is fine. Um, I guess I can... Uh... Wait, hold up. Does Air Jordan just win if I DD versus... I think if I DD versus this and hit an Iron Tail, it's over. Um, is he is he gonna defog? Is he gonna go down with the defog? I'm gonna rocks, because um, if he defogs and I get rocks for free, uh, if he roosts, that's unfortunate, and I just ice punch the next turn, or uh, I switch. He ends up roosting, so uh, I end up getting that play wrong right there. But it's okay. It's not actually that big of a deal. Um, this thing is pro has probably run its course. Uh, I'm gonna click ice punch though. Uh, because in the, yeah, he just ends up roosting, which is fine. I don't know why he's making this play. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my rocks up, though, because if he does try to defog, then I would like rocks on the field. End up getting rocks on the field, so that's nice. Uh, Malibu is down, but Malibu certainly did his part this game. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's kind of in trouble right here. Um, I don't have anything to like beat this for sure, though. Uh, like I guess I could go into Rotom mode, but this is about to be so weak. Yeah, I'm gonna click T-Bolt, because hopefully he's physically defensive mints, and judging by that close combat damage, he probably is. But now I kind of put him in an awkward position, as he ends up going out into his hair across, which is kind of an interesting play. It's banded, uh, so I probably will I will outrun it for sure, no matter what. So, scar sacrificing hair across. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry about it, fam. Um, if he goes into Reuniclus, um, then it's not really that big of a deal. Because I just bolt switch, and then how much did Ente take? Not enough is the answer. Uh, can't kill this llama. Yeah, dang right, it's chasing after games. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click bolt switch right here, just because I do feel that like it is my best play. I will get off a good chunk of damage here, um, and you know we'll see what we'll, we'll go from there. Um, I feel like Ente is the play because Ente comes in and can potentially do some damage and he ends up just doing this I'm gonna click flare blitz because I'm not about to miss sacred fire and uh, lose so that is probably going to uh, wrap this one up um, you know I felt like I actually played really well um, that was like actually a competent opponent too um, so you know like that that flavors era was pretty huge looking back on it back at it in retrospect but you know Sometimes there are big plays like that that will kind of uh, <laughs> that will kind of mess up the game for you. But you know, uh, he says he's gonna forfeit. So if you guys did enjoy today's uh, battle, please make or today's live, I guess, please make sure to leave a like. Cause it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Actually, maybe he's not. <laughs> um, anyhow, uh, make sure to leave a like. That's always helpful. Um, I guess for, oh, never mind, he's not actually going to forfeit, but for, god, that ate that up, help me, help, um, watch man 6 out of this team, it, actually, it, it might be able to bring it back, um, I suppose if he, like, misses a deep, or misses a dragon tail, but, in before Salomon sweep, um, it's not actually, like, this isn't actually that troubling for me. It's not as troubling pe as people are making it out to be. Um, because I can force him to roost every single turn. So, a little bit of a preemptive call by me, but it's okay. Uh, he is going to go for the toxic, meaning he has sacrificed Salamence. Um, I think I can get away with going for Volt Switch and trying to pick up momentum if he does switch out. Um, and he does. Look at that. Get absolutely destroyed. <laughs> um... So, I can go into Ente uh, and uh, click Sacred Fire, I think, or just click Flare Blitz. Um, because, yeah, that's, that's going to be so dead. So dead. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to go ahead and wrap this one up now. Sorry about the uh, whole preemptiveness. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's live, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video um let me think here what, what is a suitable comment question in the video here um 
what video game, in your guys' opinion, has the best music? Like, I feel like Smash is kind of hard to contend with, but, you know, I'm relatively uncultured in the uh, video game universe, so, you know, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content, and with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.